Welcome back to the Payne's Creek Killings. We've just entered Wanda's home from the key that we got in the hospital. Let's see what we find. I wish I could open the fridge in the freezer. What do you think I would find? Is that? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I thought there's like a tiny bit of a key like underneath the cutting board, but that's actually just a handle. Ah, I got all excited for nothing. Are those VHS tapes? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, that says VHS. something upstairs. Hmm? It's broken. I need a tool to fix this. Intriguing. I also wonder if I could just... If I look at the right angle, if I could get at what's inside. There is a gap. Also, I can... <laughs> I can stand on top of the drawer. Oh no, it's the tree situation all over again. What would fix this? I guess just like a crowbar. I really do need a crowbar. Yeah, that doesn't work. Alright, I need to note this. I need to get to Oliver's freaking photo lab. There's a shovel and a wrench, although I don't think either of those would help with this specific situation. But still. Need a tool to open locked... or It's not really locked, is it? It's stuck. To open stuck drawer um, in upper floor of Wanda's house. I have Wanda here, right? Yes. Not her, uh, not their house, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, that should be a to-do. Oh, 
How come the lights over the mirror never work? Ever. Ooh. Aw. God, that's such a detailed purse. Wait, what does that say? Thank... Thank you, Wanda. So, it's so small. It's almost impossible to get this to rotate the way you want, by the way. The rotation is so weird. Thank you, Wanda. For your, I don't know, your handbag? Your hard work? Thank you, Wanda, for your hard work. That's from... Ugh, I can't read it. The signature is so tiny. I don't know. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Wanda Tyler. <clears throat> May 3rd, 1974. Derek turned four today. Vivian organized a small party for him. I really appreciate what she has done for us. After blowing out the birthday candles, I asked him what he wished for. He said, I wish to see Papa. I did not know what to say to him. I could not tell him that his father left us. August 22nd. Vivian is being hospitalized for mental instability. Dorothy has asked for me to take care of Vivian at the hospital. I wonder how Vivian must be feeling right now, knowing that she's... That... That... What? This journal is particularly poorly written. Knowing that she's... Being might not be... That she might not be able to conceive anymore. But Magdalene wants a boy to continue the family line. Not being able to have children anymore will be devastating for Vivian. I feel sorry for her. October 9th. I just can't stand Sophia. She's not that pretty. Just barely a year working here and the workers are already serving her hand and foot. She's just here to take advantage from the Roberts family. I don't trust her. She should be gone. What the hell, Wanda? Alright, well that should be noted. Wanda... Hated Sophia. And wanted her gone. As far as we know, Wanda doesn't have anything to do with Sophia's death. But, I don't know. Wanda and Sophia. I really hope we find a key, because if we don't, I do not know where to go next. Hmm. Derek's knife. see the name of the picture, but oh well. The Last of the Mohicans. Ooh. I almost missed that. Tricky. This is unmarked. What is this? Isn't this uh, Vivian's writing? April 3rd, 1995. Trisha visited me again. Ever since Scott was fired and told not to see Trisha anymore, she has been visiting me quite often. Not only is she angry at Vivian, she's also at Scott, saying that Scott is avoiding her. Okay, this definitely isn't Vivian's diary. Um, June 28th, 1995. I visited Mom today. Her cancer has lapsed again. 
After her tumor disappeared two years ago, no one expected it to return again. Mom looked fine and seemed to be getting used to the hospital visits. Dr. Johnson said the chemotherapy sessions are needed due to the late stage cancer and that she would need my support more than ever. Upon leaving, I saw Scott talking with Dr. Johnson. They looked serious. I wonder if Scott found a new job after being fired. Wait, is this written from Vivian? Isn't this talking about Magdalene? Vivian visited mom today? But here it says not only is she angry at Vivian, I don't think, if Vivian wrote this, I don't think she would refer to herself in the third person. July 13th, Dr. Johnson's body was found near Cherry Creek Lake today. The police came and interviewed Vivian. Apparently she was seen with Dr. Johnson a lot. Vivian was heard with her voice raised at the police during the interview. Trisha got frightened and locked herself in her room. I don't know what is going on. July 15th. The police came to my house to interview me again about the death of Dr. Johnson. I'm so tired of all that has happened recently. October 27th. Scott came back with Father Matthew today. Their lawyer came too. Reporters were waiting at the church, asking why they would allow a killer back to Paines Creek. Trisha came back from hospital and was desperate to see Scott. When Charles and Bernard stopped her, she broke down in tears. What can I do? Okay, so I think I've made sense of this. So yeah, this obviously isn't Vivian's diary. Um, I guess it is just Wanda's, even though it looks quite a bit different from the other one. Obviously written from the perspective of somebody who worked at the mansion. And I've noticed a couple interesting things. One is that this is at the community hospital. Um, I saw Scott talking with Dr. Johnson. They looked serious. I wonder if Scott found a new job after being fired. That was June 28th. And then on July 13th, Dr. Johnson's body was found near Cherry Creek Lake today. So I wonder if there's any connection. Not that they're super close together, but a couple weeks in between Scott talking with Dr. Johnson, Johnson ends up dead. I, I mean, I don't think Scott did it. I strongly suspect not. But there maybe is something going on there. And also this. Scott came back with Father Matthew today. Their lawyer came too. Reporters were waiting at the church asking why they would allow a killer back to Payne's Creek. My first thought was, wait, so they realized that Father Matthew was the killer? Because that's why I very strongly suspect killed Vivian. But I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they're talking about Scott. Not that Scott was actually prosecuted for it. I believe we know that he wasn't, but he was definitely the biggest suspect, right? So that's probably what they were talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so it said, Wanda somewhere in here said that, um, Trisha's angry with Scott because Scott won't see her anymore, avoiding her. And I'm sure that's because, you know, Scott realized that he was or still is in love with Trisha and Trisha's his half-sister. So I think that's why he's avoiding her. And then at this point, when Trisha came back from the hospital and was desperate to see Scott, that would be after Vivian's killed, of course. So you can just imagine Trisha's mom is dead. Scott, who she really likes, is avoiding her and suspected to be the killer and wanted to see Scott. Charles and Bernard apparently stopped her from seeing Scott. She broke down in tears. So I think that's the context there. Seriously though, please give me a key. Please. Dear Father, how's everything going? Hey Father, what's up? Oh, another one, wow. Another journal. I very much do not see a key. I'm worried. Alright, this better be a really good journal. 
January 12th, 1990. We went cycling today. Scott said he can ride faster than me. Of course, that isn't true. So we had a competition and Trisha was our referee. We set the goal line to be the fence in front of the river. I was winning until we almost reached the finishing line when I braked to prevent myself from crashing into the fence, but Scott didn't brake. He pedaled harder as we approached the goal. I yelled at him to stop, but he did not listen. By the time he crossed the line, it was too late. The brake did not work in time. Um, his bike hit the fence and he propelled into the air, landing on the rocks by the riverbank. I ran to him. There was blood coming from his head and scratches all over his arms and legs. Trisha came up to him and tended to his wounds. She seemed to be sobbing. Even though Scott was the one bleeding, I think I'm hurting more than him. Not really sure what to do with this information. March 14th, while cleaning the garage, Charles approached and asked if I would like to be his chauffeur. He said his current driver wants to spend more time with his grandchildren and is retiring. I have by the end of this week to decide. It's a good opportunity. I get a raise in salary and I get to travel around the country. I think I will say yes. April 1st. Trisha came today and suggested we have our very own time capsule before I start my new job. I thought it was a good idea. We buried the box near a big stone in the cemetery. Before leaving, we made a promise to each other that we will open it up ten years later. So there is a time capsule. Near a big stone in the cemetery. I looked in the cemetery for it, but I guess not close enough. Near a big stone in the cemetery. We'll open it ten years later. Isn't it almost ten years later at this point? I think it's 1999, right? The current year? May 16th. I had a chance to walk around New York today. As I went into the bookstore... Enjoy the background sirens, by the way. The police are coming to take me away. <laughs> As I went into the bookstore, I remembered how much Trisha loved notebooks. There was one that was really cute. It's a bit expensive, but I think she will like it. I should surprise her by giving her the notebook on her birthday. So that's... That's more than a month after the last entry. Walking around New York as part of the new job, I guess. Uh, June 28th. I didn't expect to be traveling this much as a driver. On one hand, I miss my mom. On the other hand, I could stay in nice hotels. I guess it's not a bad deal. Charles treats me very well. He even gives me extra allowances on, those, on these trips. Maybe I'll get something nice for mom next time. We went hunting near the... Oh, September 29th. We went hunting near the river. According to Scott, there's a nest in the drain hole that sometimes has eggs. I told him it might be dangerous, but he assured us that it's fine. So off we went. Sure enough, there were eggs. I didn't know what eggs those were and decided to stay a little far away. Scott started collecting them when I noticed something moving. It was a snake. Trisha shouted, Snake! I stood there frozen, not knowing what to do. Scott turned and saw the snake. He then spread his arms out and slowly walked backwards. Trisha was behind him. He extended his right hand with a stick towards the snake and slowly placed the bag of eggs on the floor with his left hand. When he reached me, he grabbed my arm and said, run. We all ran, screaming our lungs out. I think that was the fastest I ever ran in my life. November 5th. I miss the old days. Me, Trisha, and Scott together, hunting in the woods and playing by the lake. It's not that I don't appreciate what Charles has uh, had given to us, such as the house we live in and our jobs. I just miss the time when we were young and carefree. We would go anywhere and nothing would stop us. I miss Trisha. December 23rd. Why doesn't she realize that I like her? Oh! <gasps> Wanda and Trisha! That's a much better pairing. Much better pairing than 
Scott and Trisha <laughs> for multiple reasons. Okay, well, at least I have a lead. Um, I should note that, too. So, what? I, you know, for some reason, I must have misunderstood who Wanda was. I thought Wanda... Like, the notes I found in the hospital made me think Wanda was in the hospital. And I, I thought she was really old. But I don't... Wait. I have a note here that says, Date of birth, 1943. What? Is that not Wanda? That must... Is that Wanda's daughter? Does Wanda have a daughter? I think so. I'm getting pretty confused. So maybe Wanda is old, you know, fairly old like I thought, and that's Wanda's daughter's diary. Because it seemed like there was another room of somebody younger. Another bedroom. But what's their name? I don't know. Uh... Wanda's, I guess, daughter? Uh... Light Trisha? Let me just check something real quick. So yeah, this is... One bedroom. And... This is another. Yeah. Okay, so maybe this is the daughter's room? But then, wait, what about this? But this is the diary of Wanda Tyler. Does anything mention the daughter? So this is Wanda's room then. And this is, I guess, the daughter's room? Because I found these two journals, these two diaries that look different from Wanda's in here, so this must be the other person, the one that's that likes Trisha. Yeah, I, I don't know this person's name, unfortunately. Hmm. Alright, well, we found some very good information. Let's go try to find that time capsule. So it's by a big rock in the cemetery. Okay, well, there's some rocks inside of the locked part of the cemetery, but there's one rock over here. I hope this is the one. I really, really hope so. Yeah, it's definitely the only one. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure exactly. Oh. Oh. I need a tool to dig. <gasps> no! Oh, crap. I need the shovel from Oliver's photography. Oliver. Damn you, Oliver. Well, in that case, I have no idea where to go now. Um... I'm almost certain that Oliver's photography was locked, but I guess I'll go back there and double check. Okay, so I have a lead. A very good one. Um, so I went to Oliver's Photography. It is completely locked. You do need a key to get inside of there, so that is not happening at the moment. But I turned to you, the viewer. <laughs> I started looking at some comments. It's been a little while since I've read the comments for this series, but I just started looking at them until I hit the first one that kind of um, gave me a solid lead that I could work on. And somebody mentioned that it looks like there's a hidden room besides the study room in the mansion based on the map. So if you remember somewhere, I think maybe in one of Trisha's diaries or something, uh, somebody mentioned that there's there's secret rooms inside of the mansion. And I'd looked for them before, but I, I couldn't find anything. But with that hint that they saw something on the map besides the study room, I looked at it and there is definitely a secret room next to the study room. Look at this, a pretty significantly sized room. This is the study, this is the library. This is the library. This is the study. There's definitely a room here, and it is not accessed through any obvious doorway. There is a secret, and I looked back here, and look at this. 
There's a doorway behind this bookcase. So, thank you very much for the person who made that comment. Very helpful. Um... Ah, uh, ha ha ha. Place item. So, remember that book we found in a drawer down here? This one. Illustrated Medical and Health Encyclopedia. And it says... I think I mistook that for a four before. I think that's a one. One right, six left, three right. It says that on it. So, let's place this. Aha! Okay, that took longer than it probably should have. Um, so the combination... It was 463, by the way. It was a 4. It isn't relative to the center piece, volume 10, the one that I placed in there with the code on it. It appears to be, unless this was just a coincidence, which is pretty unlikely, that when it says 4 right, 6 left, 3 right, it means 4th from the right, 6th from the left, 3rd from the right. That's what finally did it. All right, what secrets await? Magdalene Roberts, mother of Charles, dies at age 68. Hospital reports heart attack as main cause of death. Magdalene Roberts passed away last night at the age of 68. She was visiting her son Charles Roberts in Paints Creek when her heart failed. Dorothy Patterson, a maid working at the mansion, knocked on Magdalene's door at 7 a.m. Since there was no answer, she assumed Magdalene was still sleeping. It was only two hours later when Magdalene still did not respond to her knocking that she realized something was wrong. She called Bernard Hopkins, the mansion butler, who came and opened the room to find Magdalene lying on the bed. She wasn't breathing. He immediately called 911. Dr. Johnson, the family doctor and head of Paints Creek Community Hospital, arrived at the mansion around 9.30 a.m. and pronounced Magdalene Roberts dead. According to Dr. Johnson, Magdalene Roberts probably had a heart attack sometime in the middle of the night. More accurate diagnoses are yet to be determined, but Magdalene's death was most probably the result of high blood pressure and old age. It wasn't. She was poisoned by Vivian with drugs given to her by Dr. Uh, Doctor, what the hell's his name? I'm gonna stop whispering now. Uh, Dr. Johnson, right. And there's a date. Passed away last night. So the date of death of Magdalene was the day before this. I just realize something very bizarre about this date. Haven't dates everywhere else been the more sensible but non-American version of the date format being day, month, year? But this is month, day, year. How bizarre. Okay, well, I should probably note this. 8, 26, 75. I'm just trying to think, like, could that be the password to something? There is the six-digit code for the safe behind the painting, but why in the hell would the safe have the passcode of, like, their mother's death? What the f- I would be surprised. Charles Roberts, June 11th, 74, our baby daughter is something today, we born today, is born today, was born today, should be was, we named her Tricia, Vivian had to go through a cesarean section, I'm just glad that both mother and child are safe and I thank God for that, I feel so happy to have a baby in the family, there's no words to express the joy I'm feeling inside. At the same time, I'm worried of what mom might say when she knows that the baby is a girl. Right, because Magdalene wanted a boy. August 16th. Vivian is being hospitalized for the second time in a year. The first time was a C-section, this time for mental instability. 
Dr. Johnson told me not to visit her until she has stabilized and is ready to receive me. What can I do? Mom wants a boy, but it's not safe for Vivian to be pregnant anymore. Sometimes I feel lost, not knowing what to do. Mostly, I just feel lonely. <laughs> Don't tell me this is going to end up being used by Charles as his excuse for having an affair with Sophia. I, yes, I had to knock up my very young, beautiful maid because my wife, it wasn't safe for her to have a kid anymore and my mom wanted us to have a boy, but she had a daughter. <laughs> if that's the excuse, then oh my god. November 16th. I never thought this would happen, yet whenever Sophia is babysitting Trisha, she would listen to whatever I have to say. I could express myself candidly. Never once did she question the decisions I made. It made me feel like she understands me. What the fuck, Charles? I found comfort in her, both spiritually and physically. I just never thought I would have a relationship with her. What should I do now? Wow, nice, Charles. She never questions me at all, me, the authority figure who employs her. She must really understand me. July 6th, uh, 1975. I have a name for our child. He will be called... Vincent Roberts. I will add him into the Roberts family registry. By the way, I haven't seen Sophia these two days. Where could she be? Yeah, so Vincent is a term, a term, is a name that I've heard before. I'm 99% sure that Vincent is, was later renamed Scott. Uh, not at a note, search. Somewhere in here. Yes. So this is about the incident where Vivian, Dr. Johnson, and Andrew confronted Sophia. A fight broke out, Sophia died, Andrew dealt with the body, and the baby's name was... Vincent? Unless there's two babies? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they were just renamed Vincent. These notes are cool, but I hope there's a key. I mean... Well, there isn't. I can already see that. May 3rd, 1974. Vivian hasn't spoken much since she was discharged from the hospital. Dr. Johnson said she is fully healed, but it will take some time for her to be... Uh, for her to adjust back to the mansion life. I feel our relationship is deteriorating. June 17th. I love Trisha, and I know Vivian does too. I hope my mother's desire to have a grandson is... is in succeeding the family line will not affect Vivian's love for Trisha. Uh, something something won't harbor any resentment towards my mother. Oh. Oh. That must be one of the reasons that Vivian wanted to poison Magdalene. She obviously did resent her. But there's another reason. That wasn't the only reason, right? Hold on. We shall turn to the notes. This time I'll actually use the search. Uh, poison? I don't know if I actually have anything in my notes for this. Because I think at the time I read the note about the poison, I didn't realize it was Magdalene. And I don't think I really have anything for Magdalene other than that. Uh, okay, never mind. June 16th, 1975. Dear Charles, I received a letter from Dorothy yesterday. She told me everything. What have you done, my son? Does Vivian know? Have you considered the consequence of your action? And what of Sophia? What will you do with her? You made a mistake, and you'll need to take responsibility for what you have done. Do you understand? You cannot take her as your wife because you already have one. This scandal cannot be publicly known. It will destroy your political career. However, the baby is important. He is your flesh and blood and might be the son you need to continue the family line. I am not preparing to visit you. Do not say anything to Vivian yet. I will take care of it when I arrive. Love, Mom. So, that'd be Magdalene. Oh, 
it's the first time we've seen Sophia, I think. And, uh, yep, that hair looks certainly like the ghost I've been seeing. Not that that's any surprise. Oh, you know, I thought I couldn't even, I thought I couldn't take pictures of stuff that I was zoomed in on. But you can. Whoops. Well, that's helpful. That is very good to know. Can you, oh, you can even take pictures of notes. That is very good to know. <laughs> Every time I come out of a room like that, I'm like, is Sophia staring at me outside somewhere? Sophia up on the roof? Okay, well that solves that mystery. It still doesn't solve the mystery of the four-digit passcode from the chess pieces. Two of which are down here. And the other two of which are back there in the shed. Huh. Let me go try the date of death. Date of death, yeah. Date of death of Magdalene. On the safe, although I very much doubt that will work. Nope, doesn't work. And I tried it multiple ways, including with the date format changed. Okay, well, I think I'll end this episode here. I feel pretty good about what I've accomplished. At the moment, though, I do not have any additional leads, which is disturbing, but I feel pretty confident that. Uh, when I read more of the comments, I'm sure all of you will have some really nice ideas that I can follow up on. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to do, well, something. <laughs>